Microsoft just dropped its newest generative AI model, 5.4, showing that when it comes to AI, size isn't everything. This latest addition to the 5 family might be smaller than the massive AI giants out there, but don't let that fool you. Packed with 14 billion parameters, 5.4 is all about quality over size, tackling complex reasoning and math problems like a pro, and even outperforming much larger models in the process. Now, ha! Huh, what sets 5.4 apart is its emphasis on data quality. Instead of relying solely on traditional data sets like web content or code repositories, Microsoft used a significant amount of synthetic data. This data wasn't just randomly generated, it was crafted to provide structured, progressive challenges that the model could learn from. Synthetic data has an advantage here. It ensures the training process aligns closely with the kinds of tasks the model will handle during real-world use. For 5.4, that means tasks like mathematical problem-solving and reasoning-heavy benchmarks. Microsoft also included curated, high-quality, human-generated content to supplement the training process. This hybrid approach gives 5.4 a broader understanding of real-world scenarios while maintaining a high level of precision. For example, in training, the team used techniques like multi-agent prompting, where AI agents interact to generate better data, and instruction reversal, which essentially flips tasks to help the model grasp them more intuitively. Benchmarks show how effective this approach is. On math competition problems, Fee4 outperforms even much larger models like Google's Gemini Pro 1.5 and OpenAI's GPT-40. It scored 80.4 on the math benchmark, putting it ahead of many competitors. Editors. In coding tasks, it delivered excellent results on Human Eval and Human Eval Plus, showing its capability in technical areas beyond just language processing. This kind of performance proves that a smaller model, when trained smartly, can go toe-to-toe -to with larger systems. One of the standout features of 5.4 is how it balances performance with efficiency. Larger models like GPT-4 or Gemini Ultra often have hundreds of billions of parameters, which makes them computationally expensive to run. 5.4 achieves competitive results using far fewer computational resources. This makes it an ideal choice for companies and organizations that need high-quality AI capabilities but don't have the infrastructure to support the larger models. A lot of this success comes down to post-training innovations. Microsoft introduced processes like Direct Preference Optimization, or DPO, which helps fine-tune the model's responses by comparing different outputs and steering the AI toward the most accurate and helpful ones. For reasoning-heavy tasks, DPO makes a noticeable difference. There's also rejection sampling, a method where less accurate or less helpful responses are filtered out during the training process. Together, these techniques refine the model's output to a level that surpasses its predecessors. 5.4 isn't just about delivering high performance, it's also designed with safety and reliability in mind. Microsoft integrated responsible AI practices into the development process. For instance, their Azure AI Foundry platform provides tools to monitor and manage risks, ensuring the AI remains aligned with ethical standards. Features like prompt shields and content filters add an extra layer of protection, making 5.4 a model that's not only powerful, but also safe to deploy. There's an interesting story behind this model's timing. 5.4 is the first Phi series model released since Sebastian Bubeck, a key figure in Microsoft's AI division, left the company in October to join OpenAI. His departure hasn't slowed the team down, though. Microsoft is clearly doubling down on its commitment to innovation in this space. The model's training process was a huge factor in its success. Microsoft used over 10 trillion tokens during pre-training, a mix of synthetic data and carefully filtered web content. They didn't just throw random data at the model. Every piece was curated, filtered, and optimized to push the boundaries of what 5.4 could achieve. Synthetic data sets were built from scratch to create scenarios that challenge reasoning and problem solving. Organic data sets, like web content and code repositories, were meticulously filtered for quality and relevance. A unique aspect of 5.4's training was its use of pivotal token services. Search. This technique identifies critical points in a model's output where the next token can significantly affect the overall result. By focusing on these pivotal moments, the training process becomes more targeted and efficient. It's like giving the model a spotlight on the most important parts of the task at hand, ensuring it learns what matters most. Despite being only 14 billion parameters in size, 5.4 manages to outperform even larger models in certain benchmarks. On tasks like graduate-level STEM questions and mathematical reasoning, 5.4 scored higher than its predecessor, GPT-40. It also showed impressive coding capabilities, outdoing many open-weight models, including larger ones like Llama 3. But there are some limitations. 
While 5-4 excels at reasoning and problem solving, it struggles with strict instruction following, especially when tasks involve specific formatting or structured outputs. It also has moments where it produces hallucinated information, such as fabricating details about a non-existent person. These are areas Microsoft is already working on, with plans to improve instruction following through additional training and possibly augmenting the model with real-time search capabilities. Currently, 5.4 is available in a limited research preview through Microsoft's Azure AI Foundry platform. Researchers can access it under a Microsoft Research License Agreement, but it's not yet widely available. However, plans are in place to release it on Hugging Face soon, which will open the doors to a much broader audience. This model is a big deal for mid-sized companies. Its efficiency makes it accessible for businesses that might have hesitated to adopt AI due to the high costs associated with larger models. 5.4's lower computational demands mean companies can integrate advanced AI capabilities without overhauling their infrastructure or breaking the bank. Microsoft's approach to responsible AI is worth highlighting again. The model underwent rigorous safety testing, including a two-week red teaming exercise by Microsoft's AI red team. They looked for vulnerabilities, risky behaviors, and ways to exploit the system. 5.4 held up well, showing strong defenses against adversarial attacks and prompt manipulation. Microsoft also addressed a common problem in AI development, data contamination. They improved their decontamination processes to ensure training data didn't overlap with benchmarks. This prevents the model from cheating by having prior exposure to test questions, making the results more credible. Long context tasks are another area where 5.4 shines. Microsoft extended the model's context length from 4,000 to 16,000 tokens during mid-training. This allows it to handle more complex multi-step tasks, such as summarizing lengthy documents or reasoning across entire data sets. In real-world scenarios, this capability is crucial for applications in fields like law, research, and technical writing. The numbers back this up. In benchmarks like the Helmet Long Context Evaluation, 5.4 performed exceptionally well, even outpacing some larger models. It can retrieve and process detailed information from lengthy inputs with impressive accuracy, making it a strong contender for tasks requiring a broader understanding of context. Safety wasn't an afterthought in 5.4's design. Microsoft incorporated supervised fine-tuning datasets focused on reducing hallucinations and improving the model's alignment with human preferences. They also tested 5.4 extensively for harmful content generation and bias. The result is a model that not only performs well, but does so responsibly. There's a lot to be excited about with 5.4. It's efficient, innovative, and designed to tackle specific challenges in reasoning and problem solving. By prioritizing data quality and incorporating cutting edge training techniques, Microsoft has created a model that stands out in a crowded field. For researchers, developers, and businesses looking to adopt AI, 5.4 offers a glimpse into what's possible when smaller models are trained with purpose and precision. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe for more AI updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.